Welcome families to Palm Point's annual History Day celebration. We are so pleased to have this opportunity to recognize excellent achievement in the field of history. Our program will begin with a brief introduction before proceeding to the presentation of awards and projects and the announcement of which projects will represent Palm Point at the St. Lucie County Schools District Fair in February. Thank you to everyone who played a role in helping our students achieve success. Each year, hundreds of thousands of students across the country participate in National History Day, a research-based learning experience focused on a specific theme. The 2022 National History Day theme is Debate and Diplomacy in History, Successes, Failures, Consequences. Students were tasked with selecting a topic that showcased the theme and through extensive research and analysis, prove their topic's significance in history. This year, the selected topics ranged from as far back as medieval European history to more recent events such as 9-11. From battles to political debates to activism, sports, music, you name it. Before we begin recognizing the projects, I'd like to take a moment to thank the wonderful social studies teachers who led students through the History Day experience. My name is Mrs. Larson and I teach eighth grade as well as serving as Palm Point's History Day coordinator. My History Day partners are Mrs. Sanchez in 6th grade, Mrs. Wright in 8th grade, and Ms. Zdenek in 6th grade. I know I speak for all of us when I express how proud we are of all our students and what they have achieved. The projects recognized at the school level represent the best overall projects in both of our two participating grade levels. Each teacher submitted projects that demonstrated a high degree of success in representing the overall theme and providing historical analysis while also demonstrating wide research on the chosen topic. Students had the option of showcasing their work in the form of a research paper, an exhibit, a website, or a documentary. From the projects we are about to recognize, a total of five will advance to the district fair, one research paper, two documentaries, and two exhibits. I sincerely apologize in advance if I mispronounce anyone's name. Let's begin. Our first category is for historical papers. For this category, students worked individually to research and write a well-reasoned essay elaborating on their thesis statement. Our finalists for historical papers are Michaela Ortiz, Title IX, The Prevention of Gender Discrimination in Education and Sports. Jimmy Zoakis, The Debate of the 1980 Olympics Boycott. Isabella Cordero Ramos, The Debate and Act of Diplomacy of the Brown vs. Board of Education Supreme Court Case. Sebastian Rebello, U.S. versus Nixon and the Watergate Scandal. Congratulations to all of our historical papers. The project moving on to the district level will be announced at the end of the presentation. Our next category is documentaries. Students could create a documentary individually or in a group. Documentaries are a combination of visual information with an original script that work cohesively to present the student's argument. Here are the finalists for documentaries. Gavin Lunsford, Brian Beru and the Battle of Clontarf. Adriana Cordova, How Rock and Roll Impacted the 1950s. Onyx Diaz Diaz and Ariel De Jesus, The Sterilization of Puerto Rican Women. Eddie Romero, Kerry Parks, and Pablo Almonte, The Nuremberg Trials. Congratulations to all of our finalists in the documentary category. The category with the most entries is exhibits. I will present the individual projects first and then the group projects. For exhibits, students designed and created a mini museum exhibit that combined the written word with a visual representation that has an emphasis on a creative integration of their topic and their display. Here are the finalists for individual exhibits. Maya Zoakis, 
Jackie Robinson and the Baseball Color Line. Isaiah Haynes, The Color Line and Baseball, Jackie Robinson. Aliana Decker Perez, The Highwaymen Artists. We would like to give special recognition to this project for being a spotlight on Florida history topic. Did you know that the Highwaymen were artists who painted beautiful landscapes of the Treasure Coast region and sold them along the highway because they were not allowed to display their work in galleries? Maya Kormov, The Diplomatic Impact of Anne Frank's Diary. Amaya Carrasco, Plessy versus Ferguson. Joaquin Marco Velez, the Vietnam War. Christina Lashander, Boycott or Bust, the 1980s Moscow Olympic Boycott. Findlay Wessel, Title IX and Women's Sports. Eliza Romelian, The Modern 1960s Civil Rights Movement and Its History. Kaylee Murnane, Who Really Won, Bush versus Gore. Mia Lindstammer, Title IX. Maria Mazura Osorio, Child Labor Laws, The Decision That Changed Many Lives. Shirley Temple, From Dancer to Diplomat, Jocelyn Hatfield. Julia Messick, Going for the Gold. Congratulations to all of the finalists in the individual exhibit category. Now let's honor the finalists for group exhibits. Shelby Wessel, Michael Pinaccio, and Camilla Maldonado for Women's Suffrage. Isabella Cruzado, Aaron Pittman, and Victoria Lashander for the American Revolutionary War, Taxation. McKenna White, Kaylin Scott, and Maximiliano Guian Rivera, The Space Race of the 1960s. Gabrielle Thomas and Isabella Nunez for What About Us, The Women's Rights Movement. Daniel Almonte, Drew Mendoza, and Jose Lopez Rivera, D-Day. Riley Ranella, Jada Castano, and Ava Cohn, Brown vs. Board of Education. Aliyah Buchanan and JC Mira, Float Like a Butterfly, Sting Like a Bee, The Debate and Diplomacy of Muhammad Ali. Malik Enoch, Benjamin Orisi, Cody Simmons, and Gabriel Silva, Operation Overlord, D-Day. Kayla Capocci, Siamata Perez, Seminal Wars, The Fight for Florida. We would again like to give a special mention to this project as another spotlight on Florida history. The Seminole Wars were a series of three conflicts between the Seminole Native American nation and the United States in the 1800s. Fiorella Giolongo, Savannah Clements, and Olivia Peralta, Zora Neale Hurston. This is another spotlight on Florida history topic. Did you know that Zora Neale Hurston was a prominent figure of the Harlem Renaissance who wrote the famous novel Their Eyes Were Watching God before moving to Fort Pierce later in her life? She even taught English at Lincoln Park Academy for a while. Ella Harris and Juliana Perez Jackie Robinson and the Baseball Color Line. Congratulations to all of our group exhibit finalists. And now it's that moment. It's time to reveal who will move on to the district level. We'd like to say congratulations again to all of our school-based finalists. You certainly did not make it easy on our judges. You should all be very proud of your efforts. While we would be proud to have any one of you represent us at the St. Lucie District Fair, we are limited to sending only five projects. So, in no particular order, the following projects have been selected to advance to the next level of competition.
Historical paper, Jimmy Zawakis, The Debate of the 1980 Olympics Boycott. Documentaries, Gavin Lunsford, Brian Baru, and the Battle of Clontarf, and Adriana Cordova, How Rock and Roll Impacted the 1950s. For exhibits, Finley Wessel, Title IX and Women's Sports, and Kayla Capocci and Ciamata Perez, Seminole Wars, The Fight for Florida. To all of our school participants, we want to thank you again for your efforts. I hope you're getting a round of applause at your house because you all did an amazing job. You will be receiving a certificate of achievement from your teacher. To our district level participants, please see me, Mrs. Larson, to get more information about the district fair. And thank you families and students for coming to this virtual presentation. I wish you a pleasant rest of your evening. Take care.